your thoughts on, on our exit from this competition? Not quite 24 hours on, but uh, give me your thoughts today. Well, last night was difficult viewing. Coming into the tournament, I kind of thought to, to assess the Irish team's performance, you have to, to assess their performance, that to ignore Trapattoni's mantra that it's all about results. I think they're at a stage now where simply losing doesn't tell the full story. It's right the players underperformed. We've all seen them play a lot better. But I think the performance of the manager last night in his team selection, I don't think that helped the tissue agent. I don't, I don't believe there's a system that you could deploy those players in which can bridge the gap in class. Spain are the, the, the world champions for a reason. But I think it widened the gap to ask Simon Cox to play in a role that he doesn't play in and Robbie Keane to play in a role that he can't play in. So that's two of your ten outfield players. That's 20% of your team asked to do something that they can't do. I think it just, it just provided Spain with the ideal platform to showcase their skills, played into their hands. Um, and I think when I saw the team line up, I, 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 again, I didn't think we'd beat Spain in any, any weather and any conditions with any lineup. Um, but as soon as I saw the team line up and that selection, I knew we were going to lose. Mm. Eamon, is there confusion? I've been reading various comments in, in all the papers today about, about Trapattoni's remarks after the match. It, is there confusion? Is he, is he blaming the players for the way we played? Just clarify that for me. Give me your view. Well, what he said, the words he used, uh, there, were, there was fear and tension in the players that I didn't see in training before the tournament. Um, and some people have interpreted that as uh, him absolving himself from blame and shifting the blame or the bulk of the blame onto the players. And I would have to say, well, who put the fear and the tension into the players? Uh, is it because they don't believe any longer in this system? Is it because Simon Cox, uh, they didn't know what Simon Cox was there to do? Uh, the selection of Simon Cox was uh, bizarre, I thought, and not credible. And he put John Walters on afterwards to do exactly the same role. Both of those are strikers, out and out strikers. So um, I think we have a situation here where he made mistakes um, in se team selection, no doubt about it. Robbie Keane can't play up front on his own. Um, I think he's a very experienced man, and I think he plays the, the press like you'd play a fish. I think this implicit in his remarks was, last night, was the fact that the players had failed to live up to his expectations and to shoulder the responsibility. He talks about the weight of responsibility being on their shoulders and them not being able to cope with it. Now, all of that, in my view, is a coach's role, to make the players express themselves, go out and feel they can attack the game without any fear, without any tension. If there's weight, on their shoulders and fear and tension, a proportion of the blame, the largest proportion in my view, should go on Trapattoni. And I don't like that kind of politicking, uh, personally. I think those players are victims of the system, rather than, uh, I think they did their best in difficult circumstances. Uh, Liam, is Trapattoni blaming the players? No, no. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not, because he's never done it before in his life. You know, he's been managing for, 40 years now, and uh, it's not in his nature to blame the players. He would say that everyone is in it together. I've never witnessed, either when I played for him, when we had bad results, or um, when I was watching him when I was still in Italy, managing Juventus, um, never happened. But if you speak to Didi Haman, he's got the utmost respect for the man. And you don't get that by being a kind of guy to blame the players. I'll tell you what's happened now, Darren, what's going to happen. This is going to get nasty with the press and Trapattoni. And they're going to start interpreting his words to, to be critical of him. And all he said last night was, in, in general terms, he didn't understand the mistakes they made because they hadn't made those mistakes before. And if you analyse all the goals, you know, starting last night from Richard Dunn, making a great tackle and then not seeing it through, then not getting mm -hmm. up and, and Stephen Ward coming across and not dealing with Torres. Then to the second one, Shea giving punching down to Silva. Now, all those things, you would ask those players and they say, yeah, I could have done better in that situation. 
And that's what Trapattoni is, is referring to. He's not being absolving himself of any blame. This is a, this is a, a media agenda now, and it started today. And it's going to get, it, it gets dirtier as it goes along. And it'll only, it'll only stop when he gets another good result. Because that's, that's, that's the nature of the business we're in. And whether it's Trapattoni or whether it's the manager of Holland, He'll, he'll, he'll be getting pelted as yeah. well. well yeah. they're, the, they're the things that happens. And I know the man a long, long time. So I'm giving you the answer. He's not the kind of person to blame the players. I didn't interpret it Brief as theories. that. I, didn't, okay. I don't think it was explicit criticism of the players. He could have been commenting that there was tension in the air, in the dressing room, or in the situation. That but, they... but should he not be able to... Uh, that's one of his roles, as Eamon said, to take the tension out of it, to make the fellas relax, go out and perform. No? I'd be more interested in, in his explanation for the team selection, the thing that he is specifically there to do. Players have to take on a responsibility, how they deal with an atmosphere, with the expectation from home um, and, the, and the situation. But the manager is most culpable, I think, of any individual from last night. OK, loads uh, more to briefly, thing, I, Eamon, very briefly. Oh, sorry, OK. No, go on. No, I, I think it, the circumstances of the goals we conceded in the two games were absolutely incredible. Yeah. And, and I think that it is a fact that we gave up goals in mad situations. It's a discussion. I would just say to this to Liam, we're entitled uh, in the media to discuss the performance of the Irish team, the performance of the players and the performance of the manager as part yeah, of... But like Richie does. Right? Yeah, like Richie's that's right. Doing and it. we're like all... Richie's doing yeah. about this yeah. team selection. Yeah, exactly. But so we not, are entitled... You're not, you're not I don't entitled think... to say he's absolving himself I, of any blame because that's, I think that's an agenda now that's everybody going to be created is entitled by, to by freedom you, of you, speech. you guys. But Liam, you're a part of it as well, well now. You're sitting right. here, you know? Yeah. Sorry? You're, you're, look, you're part of the media now sitting here. Yeah, and I'm trying to be objective. Yeah. Well, not no, not interpret words as meaning that mm -hmm. absolving, I'm, I'm absolving myself. Well, on the face so, of it. So the, the guy in, 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 the, in the papers today is saying Trapattoni's trying to ban the players. Mm -hmm. Tony O'Donoghue saying there's an oh, element no, of Trapattoni. Ronnie Whelan says it. In Ron, the, in the, in the, Ronnie Whelan's a pro, he's one of us. No, they're all together over there. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, I know what happened. No, well, I'm going to tell you, Liam, that I respect Ronnie Whelan, I respect his him as a person, and just as much as you respect Giovanni Trapattoni. We are entitled. This is not nasty. This is reflection. It's analysis of the management, of the team, and of something that has engaged the whole country for the last uh, several weeks. And at the end of the day, the people who fund that operation, including Mr Trapattoni's wages, are the fans, and they deserve honest analysis, rigorous analysis, and that's all we're well, offering. Well, let's stick to that then. Good. Well, there will be more opportunity for us <coughs> to talk about this later, guys, because I don't want to, to miss the kickoff of <coughs> Ukraine, France, uh, in, in, in our coverage today. But that press conference happening in due course, and uh, we will bring you details of that a little bit later on.